so this is my way of sharing the experience with you and I hope you enjoy and see you soon I wanted to do this starting again because you know when Trini reach in the US it does get accent no but um Okay. I was just making sure everything was clear then. Yes, do not leave me. I'm doing my vlog. I should have done with, with flowers behind. Oh, let me get the flowers. The flowers. Ha! The flowers. She does this all the time. This whole Translucent Borders project was pretty interesting. It was an amazing experience working with people from so many different countries. Palestine, Israel, Cuba, Mexico, um, Italy, um, and we were supposed to collaborate. We were supposed to start the collaborations over a long period of time, but we really only, you know, we were supposed to Skype, have these Skype meetings and start, and, um, you know, we'd have these Skype meetings, but we really only started creating, for me at least, when we got to Jacob's Pillow on Monday before the first performance on Wednesday. Hello everyone, welcome. Hello, hello. I'm Pamela Taji. I'm the director of here at Jacob's Pillow. And I want to welcome you to week two of Festival 2018. opportunity to welcome the first ever Gaga Institute at Jacob's welcome. Pillow to the Pillow. So welcome. Please raise your hand. In the Ted Sean Theater. Where are you? Here you are. Um, I'm so delighted to welcome back to the Pillow Palavalis. Their first visit was in 1974, 44 yeah. years ago. Woo! Woo! Very special group of visitors uh, to my heart, very close to my heart, and that is the organization that is known as Translucent Borders. They are a working group of the Global Institute for Advanced Study at NYU. This group of people come from, I need to say this, seven different countries. They are the United States, Palestine, Ghana, Israel, Cuba, Italy, and Trinidad and Tobago. They are led by Andy <laughs> on Monday and we did some warming up exercises and um, you know people get to see how the others move and then I think the choreographers and musicians decided on the collaboration so they wanted to use us dancers and stuff. It's called No Borders. Mm -hmm. I think I might have done a little bit of it the other night but I can't remember if I did. From there we're going to do this, it's going to be um, da -da -da -da. people work and to learn from that and I hope that it was um, a way of starting what should be long-lasting artistic and creative relationships oh look at that it's getting real quiet <laughs> um, yeah it was a challenge for me being in so many pieces because I had to literally go from one rehearsal to the next and to So, so I start inside the drum. We start inside the drum. We start inside the drum. Now, you're coming out. Okay, you are in the drum for now. Right. Now you're coming out from the drum. Right. Okay, coming out from the drum. And then you get down. You come out. And there's going to be a baby sound. Yeah. Yeah. And you like try to uh, come. So then you have to walk. And then, okay, and now I don't have to walk. One, two, and then I stand tall. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, then you come. 
And then you can come back. Then from here, you know, you whatever do, you know, whatever you want to do, if you want to do, you do that. Hey, what up, 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 what challenge for me being in so many pieces because I had to literally go from one rehearsal to the next and so I kind of had to switch brain to you know get out of what is this choreographer trying to communicate and what does he feel and the mood of this piece into the next person and each choreographer had a different way of working which was something else that I was able to learn from you know some people will start with the music some people go off the melody some people go off the message and the um, the story that they're trying to to deliver how I thought about it a little bit at, uh, at the beginning was the idea of that this notion of ancestry ancestral memory that we all have connections that uh, to our, our history to our culture to our people uh, through this genetic maybe or psychic and that we don't know how that is but there are things that we know there are things that we understand uh, through that uh, through those kind of connections that are kind of biological, maybe. Uh, and so I, I think that the process has been very much exploring that as a notion, as a concept. And you'll get a chance to hear, to see Donald dance a solo to Mary Goes Music tomorrow night at, at uh, 6.15 at the Inside Out stage. So uh, um, it's interesting to see how different choreographers communicate with the musicians, how they interpret. Some people start with the music and let the dance follow. Some people start with the dance and let the music follow. Um, just all in all, it was really, really interesting. Um, what I see. But we heard on Monday from like 9 to about 7, pieces back to back, um, tightened on Tuesday. I remember when I started mine, my choreography, um, it was after going to all the other choreographers' rehearsals. So I did, you know, one, two, three, four, and then when I got to mine, I was tired physically and mentally. And so it, for me, it was okay, I, I need to get this done. Um, just really focus and like with the whole, it's, the whole concept of borders, I wanted to be able to have people bring their own individuality into it. But also, you know, I am the. I like to push my soca, I like to push the wine, and I had to put something in there that is representative of Trinidad and Tobago. So I had that little section there, and um, it was just fun and festive, and seeing them enjoy and really, you know, fully commit to it. Angela's like.
have Marco wine. <laughs>